I'm Doc Pop. It's good to have you back. Hi, welcome to Popcast, a crowd-sponsored yo-yo show. My name is Dr. Popular. Uh, on each episode of Popcast, I like to do a yo-yo, not exactly a tutorial, but more like a breakdown of some concepts. And this episode, we're going to talk about doing redirects, which is uh, kind of a flourish to change direction of a spinning yo-yo. Before we get started, huge shout out to Andrew Cassidy and all the rest of my Patreon sponsors uh, over on patreon.com slash docpop. Thank you so much for funding the show and making this possible. Uh, thank you also for submitting questions and uh, topic ideas. This topic was again suggested by the Patreon community. Thank you so much uh, for doing that. Let's talk about this. Uh, this is a brand new yo-yo called the Day Tripper. It is a responsive yo-yo, a modern responsive yo-yo, uh, based on the Weekender, but slimmed down a little bit. Still a lightweight, still very responsive, just designed for pockets. And the reason that the Day Tripper ever got made was because of Jeremy Park from Zipline Strings. Um, Jeremy reached out to me and he said he's a huge fan of the Weekender, uh, which is also another modern responsive EIO I'm very proud of. Uh, and he said he wanted to make something like it, but uh, a little bit more SV2 shaped, a little, little more pocket sized. Uh, so we worked together, we worked with the, the folks at OneDrop, uh, and this yo yo is the end result. I actually didn't know I was going to like the Day Tripper quite as much as I do. Um, I was thinking pocket size Weekender, that sounds fine, but it's something about it has more of a density to it. Uh, it's still lightweight and it's still plenty of gap to hit, but it just feels like it doesn't feel lightweight. If you always thought the Weekender felt too light, um, this is the same weight, but it just feels denser. So right now, the Day Tripper is my absolute favorite modern responsive yo-yo. I haven't even told you that yet, I don't think. <laughs> but um, it is everything that I love about the Weekender. Um, but in a more pocket-friendly size. Let's get into redirects. Redirects are a great way to uh, just change the direction of the spin. It's a way to add a regeneration if you're kind of learning low on spin as well. Um, I often use redirects uh, mostly as a flourish, sort of my, my, uh, the tricks I do when I'm not thinking, like, a, like this guy, for instance. That's just a very simple idea uh, or uh, example of a redirect. It's going forward and then I change direction. So I can very quickly go from, uh, go from this toss to a trapeze. So let's start off with Drew Tett's trick, uh, making the zines. Making the zines is something that I think all modern responsive yo-yoers have kind of incorporated without even knowing it into the way that we throw. It's not even a trick, it's just a thing that we do after a trapeze stall. Uh, I'm going to give it a, a shot here. This doesn't look anywhere near as pretty as the way Drew does it though. I already messed it up. But um, the basic idea with the making designs is that you are on a trapeze stall. Now, usually when you kick it out, you're going this direction. Um, but with this little flourish, you can go back out into uh, whatever you want. You can go into a double or nothing. Um, like it doesn't have to be into a stall, but, but it's a way to take a yo-yo and regenerate it and redirect it. So that, that moment right there, that's the redirect, and that's what we're going to talk about. So first you're going to tar start with a uh, trapeze stall, and you're just going to kick the yo-yo off. Let the yo-yo travel um, in a pinwheel, but it's going to go pinwheel here, between your arms. So stall, kick out, sleeper, right? Um, when the yo-yo gets right around here, when the yo-yo has traveled around its pinwheel and is going this way, you let it come off of your free hand like that. So all I'm doing is, is if the yo-yo wasn't spinning here, all I'm doing is pop, pop. So we're starting on the trapeze. I'm swinging in, pop, giving it that air. And of course, when the yo-yo is spinning and it gets that air, it's going to regenerate. It's going to grab and come back out. So at that point, you are going to do, uh, Drew likes to do an inward, like a going inside his arm, kind of shoot the moon motion. I often do it on the outside, which honestly is far easier and much less stylish. <laughs> so if you're doing making the zines and you want to call it making the zines, then 
I think you're going to have to go in and out. And you saw how I turned my hand in to shoot that out. So again, it's in, hop up. When it goes up here, it starts to wind. And then it's going to come back towards your body. And with my hand inward, I'm going to shoot the moon. Now, a, a couple notes on making the zines or just this basic redirect, which again is probably the most common redirect you're going to see people doing in modern responsive play. Um, one is uh, Drew, as I said, he likes to keep his hand inward. Uh, so when he does that kind of shoot the moon or generation, it goes in. Um, I find it much easier to go out. And you're going to see also between the way uh, I do this, this redirect and the way Drew does this redirect, which again, Drew is the creator. He's doing it right. I'm doing it wrong. But one thing you'll see is that Drew really likes to go to the left. When that yo-yo hops up, he really likes to give it that, that motion so it goes here. When I do it, I make more of a V-shape. Uh, so so it's, uh, I don't know, it's a little slower and a little less stylish, but a lot easier for me. So Drew is kind of doing a C. Right? And he really wants to get that shape when he does it, he really tries to get that shape here. And when I do it, it goes bam. So along the line of making the zines, I think a lot of the redirects you're going to see involve uh, a pinwheel and then a free moment where you kind of like let go of the pinwheel and throw it. Uh, so when I do, uh, when I do a trapeze, oftentimes I'll actually start with a power throw and do a redirect into the trapeze. So I'm starting with the yo-yo spinning this direction, but I actually want it to be spinning the opposite direction. So to do that, I do power throw, pinwheel, and I let go of the pinwheel to shoot the yo-yo forward. So I just do one rotation and that's not it. Uh, instead of catching the yo-yo, I throw it back out. So I'm actually doing the opposite of making the zines. Uh, I'm going over the hand under, where he usually goes under the hand over or whatever. Uh, power throw, and so you, you'll see. All right, let's change direction a little bit. Uh, not all redirects are based on pinwheels. Um, you can also do pin, uh, redirections by letting the yo-yo quickly hit the string or even hit your body uh, and send it back. Here's an example of what I mean. Okay, that first one I want to talk about, the back of the hand redirect. Uh, basically, what you're going to be doing for that is throwing a breakaway uh, catching it as if you're going to land a, a brother mount, um, but instead of landing on a brother, you are actually going to cross your arms and let the yo-yo hit the back of your hand. And the key is to let the yo-yo start to respond before you do. So the yo-yo is going to start to wind back, hit your hand, and then you send it forward again. So again, as if I'm doing a brother mount with my throw hand on top, but instead of catching it on the string, I'm going to give the yo-yo a quick tug. I'm actually doing that with my free hand, right? I don't know if you saw that, but my free hand gave a little tug. The yo-yo starts its wind, hits the back of my hand, and I don't try to stall it there. Uh, so when I'm here, I don't like try to catch it. You can, but really this flourish, this redirect is just a very simple toss. Uh, and once I give it that tug with my left hand, with my, my free hand, once, once I do that, then my right hand, my throw hand, just stalls, and then I throw. So this is a, a way to do uh, not just a redirect, but also to uh, regenerate some spin into a yo-yo. If you're kind of low on spin, uh, you can do this guy to quickly kind of come out. That's another way that redirects are used. Sometimes I'll use two redirects in a row um, just to basically uh, take me from a breakaway and then redirect, redirect back into a breakaway with fresh spin. Does that make sense? Like, uh, it's like two regenerations in a row for me sometimes. Uh, redirect, redirect, now back in the regular spin. You can also do a redirect by actually hitting the string. So in this case, I do a one and a half bop. Uh, I'm actually pulling the yo-yo. 
so it lands onto a one and a half mount and it's the exact same trick as the back of the hand stall uh, you give it a tug i use my my throw uh, my, my free hand to give it a tug and catch it on the string and it's actually hitting that string just for a second now the most requested redirect that I get, and it's actually even the reason I created this video is because people kept asking me about it, is the orbital redirect. And this is what that looks like. All right, so let's break that down. Obviously it's a uh, pinwheel that goes into a redirect, very similar to the, the make and the zines uh, and the front one right the the forward redirect um, but this one the orbital redirect is going to start with the breakaway and then go to the right and when I go right I throw it so it pinwheels and I let it go to the right so it's it's from the toss it's taut and then it gets slack and you want that slack you want that toss to be going directly to your right bam and when the yo-yo comes up, you don't want to catch it. Instead, you want it to let it go over your throw hand. So it's, it's starting here. It does the pinwheel, and then it goes over. And to practice that move, you can just do this. Because that's what a lot of these tricks are. It's just basically a planet hop. Back and forth. So when you can do that, you're going to do toss over. And for me, the direction kicks out. It comes back over my hand and it kind of goes down about this way, almost, almost straight down to the ground by the time it hits that. Then you can repeat that on the other side, right? So you've got your first orbital redirect to the right and the yo-yo now is in a power throw, even though you threw a breakaway um, and you're just gonna kick it forward. So again, basically all these tricks are just glorified uh, planet hops uh, going right and left rather than kind of forward backward. Uh, so this is a good trick to practice. When you are doing any of these redirects, uh, the yo-yo will be facing the same direction. So uh, the this is a <laughs> kind of a orangish side of the yo-yo and this is a silver side. That orange side should always be facing you when I'm doing these tricks. So again, orange side's facing you when I throw the breakaway. And when I do the regenerations, it's still facing that way. This side never actually, the yo-yo never flips. Uh, it just stays static, going forward and backward. So when you're practicing these planet hops, just try to keep that, that same side always facing forward. So one more note about that redirect, you don't have to use your left hand, your, your, uh, your, your free hand <laughs> to do that pinwheel. You can actually do that same pinwheel motion by letting the yo-yo spin around like your knee. You can stick your knee out a little bit and just kind of go. Thanks so much for watching this episode of PopCast. Uh, again, huge shout out to Andrew Cassidy and everyone over on patreon.com slash docpop who submitted questions and topic ideas for this episode. I really appreciate your support. Uh, remember, the Day Tripper is coming out in just a few days from now. It's coming out on January 15th, uh, which is about a week from when I recorded this. It'll be available on drpopular.com or on ziplinestrings.com. Uh, and there's not going to be many of these, at least in the initial run. Who knows if we'll make more? But these will be pretty limited. So if you like the Weekender, if it's like a must-have yo-yo, I highly, highly recommend this yo-yo. It's actually replaced the Weekender for, for my daily use. This is my carry-around yo-yo now. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.